Hey, this is Barry Canada from L3Success and LunchtimeRecordings.com. Welcome back. We're on episode number 40 today. And today, I want to talk about your future or your plans for, for the future. And I want to look at it from a standpoint of God's plan, which is mapped out for you, the ultimate plan, the perfect plan with the best route, Versus your own plan, which takes you down a road filled with obstacles, difficulties, and just the wrong direction of travel. You're traveling down a one-way road. And that's going to end in one of two two ways. Smack head-on collision. Or you might actually just make it through. You might be able to navigate down that road uh, and then realize that you're going in the wrong direction and then turn around, which of course you lose time. A lot of time has been lost. Um, and now you're finding out that, hey, you know, I should have gone left to Albuquerque instead of going right. So let's look at it from, from the standpoint of God's plan, okay? Um, God's plan is the best plan. I think no one would disagree with me on that that's the route you want to take. However, it's hard to discern which direction that is. You know, a lot of times we're, we're confused about that. We let our emotions take over, you know, until we think that this is the right direction when it should be this way. I don't think that we'll ever know definitively that this is the right direction. It's most difficult, at least for me, uh, to to really completely discern uh, God's plan, you know, and I think that's just by design, you know, as you get closer uh, within your relationship with God, you'll tend to, I think, understand better what you're supposed to what you're supposed to do, you know, what your plan is. For instance, I I believe that this what I'm doing right now uh, is a part of that plan part of God's plan. I think it's the right direction that I should be taking. Um, sharing my experiences with others, uh, helping those who are having the same type of uh, uh, experiences or issues and problems that I have, uh, to be able to help people get through their situation or their daily situations uh, by also sharing, you know, a word of God, okay? And you can't go wrong when you're sharing the word. I, that's just something I believe. But at the same time, you know, there's other plans, again, my situation, uh, that I don't completely know. I believe it's right. I hope it's right. I pray that it's right. You know, I won't know that until, again, either my relationship becomes a little bit deeper with God or uh, I get to that point where I can turn around. You know, I notice that, hey, I'm going the wrong way on a one-way road. It's time to exit turn around, remap myself, um, and head in the right direction. That's kind of just the way it is, trying to discern which direction to go. And so we're going to talk about God's plan, give you some scriptures that you can follow uh, in order to get better at understanding uh, God's plan for your life, how to know what's right, how to know what's wrong. How to know which direction to go, how to, how to know which direction not to go, which is the most important. This particular reading is entitled, God Already Has a Plan. If your father was Bill Gates and your computer broke, where would you turn? Is Stradivari where your dad and your violin st- string snapped? To whom would you go? If your father is God and you have a problem on your hands, what do you do? Scripture tells us what to do. Is your problem too large? God is able to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. Is your need too great? God is able to provide you with every blessing in abundance. 
2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. Is your temptation too severe? God is able to help us when we are being tested. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 18. Are your sins too numerous? He is able, once and forever, to save those who come to God through him. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 25. Is your future too frightening? God is able to keep you from falling away and will bring you with great joy into his glorious presence without a single fault. Jude 24 Is your enemy too strong? God is able to subdue all things to himself. Philippians chapter 3 verse 21 Make these verses a part of your daily diet. God is able to accomplish, provide, help, save, keep, subdue. He's able to do what you can't. He already has a plan. God's not bewildered. Go to him. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. God has a plan for you and God's plan is the best plan. Add those scriptures to your daily life and they will help you to better know God's plan for you. The right way to travel. The right path. Or keep going up the wrong road and think that you're going in the right direction. Everything seems right. Uh, and then you find out, you know, later on down the road that you've been traveling the wrong way. And I believe that's what's happened in my life. And I'm sure others have, uh, uh, probably would think the same thing. Is that for many years I traveled down the wrong road thinking I was going the right way. You know, this is definitely the right. It seems right. It feels right. But nothing came from it. So now I'm here, you know, later on in life, realizing that back up, let's turn around and let's go in the right direction. God's direction, the direction that God wants me to go, the direction that's always been there mapped out. I just didn't see it. You know, this direction felt right. Feels good to go this direction. I'm just cruising down a one way street. Man, man, man. Wasted time. Seek God's plan for your life. You know, get into the scriptures. You know, you're going to be able to find the answer there. Only the scriptures are going to be able to tell you that. Only by having an intimate relationship with, with God are you going to be able to know uh, where you, which direction you're supposed to go. Only by having that relationship will you be able to discern right and wrong. You're going to make mistakes, Okay. Um, especially as we're learning and growing. Okay, as we build up our relationship with God, we're going to make mistakes. We're going to go down that wrong road. I mean, we're just going to do it. Some of you have already gone down that wrong road. And that's fine. Join me. <laughs> we're on the same road, I guess. Um, but now that you realize that you're traveling down the wrong road, or you realize that, some of you may not even realize that, but for those who do realize that you're traveling down the wrong path, uh, it's not too late to turn around and go to prayer. Pray for direction. Feeling bad about it is not going to, to help, in my opinion. You know, you just got to learn from it. Learn from those mistakes. Choose the path that is the right path. That is the lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I will be back with you again. Same bat time, same bat channel, tomorrow with another episode of Lunchtime Recordings. This is Barry Canada from L3Success and LunchtimeRecordings.com. Take care and God bless.